What do you think is the biggest difference between the Earth of today and the Earth of 2 billion years ago? If you guessed dinosaurs, you'd be wrong. Dinosaurs didn't evolve until about 230 million years ago. So that's not a huge difference in time. I'm talking about a much bigger change, like going from this to this. It's the amount of oxygen in the atmosphere. Today, our planet's atmosphere is about 21% oxygen, but the amount of oxygen in the atmosphere hasn't always been that way. In fact, for most of Earth's history, it was much, much lower. So how do we know how much oxygen was in the atmosphere all those years ago? Well, one way is by looking at the composition of ancient ocean water. See, when rocks on land weather, they release ions, positively charged atoms, that can then dissolve in rainwater and make their way into the ocean. So by analyzing the ratios of certain elements in ocean water, we can get a good idea of what the atmosphere was like in the past. Researchers have found that around 2 billion years ago, the Earth's oxygen levels were only about 10% of what they are today. That might not sound like a lot, but it was enough. The first animals that needed oxygen to survive, like early ancestors of today's jellyfish and other simple multicellular organisms, they evolved around this time. But why did oxygen levels rise so dramatically after that? One theory has to do with the evolution of plants. Photosynthetic organisms use sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water to create their own food. And as a byproduct, they release oxygen. So as plants evolved and became more efficient at photosynthesis, they began to release more and more oxygen into the atmosphere. However, this theory doesn't explain why oxygen levels rose so quickly. For that, we can thank the evolution of another group of organisms, the cyanobacteria. These bacteria perform photosynthesis a bit differently than plants do. They capture light energy using pigments called phy- and instead of storing that energy in sugars, they use it to generate oxygen. So when did these oxygen factories start pumping out O- Well, according to some pretty exciting research, it all happened very quickly, geologically speaking, over the course of just a few million years around 2.4 billion years ago. At the same time, photosynthetic bacteria were evolving. There was also a massive increase in the number of genes related to oxygen production and protection against the harmful effects of oxygen. This led to an explosion of oxygen in the atmosphere, an event sometimes called the Great Oxidation Event. Okay, but why do we care so much about the amount of oxygen in the atmosphere? Well, aside from the fact that we need oxygen to breathe, the amount of oxygen in the atmosphere has a major impact on the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere too. You see, when oxygen levels are high, like they are today, carbon dioxide is less likely to react with water to form carbonic acid. It also helps them predict how the oceans may change in the future. Thanks for watching.